Why, hello guys, and happy Halloweensies! Please, don't quote me on that. But anyways, um, I don't know if this is official. Is this fan made? Is this official? I don't know. Uh, people are saying this is like a teaser to the next possible update of the alien invasion in Team Fortress 2. Because, you know, Halloween is coming very soon. So, what's that creepy vibe that everyone can go for? Um, sh we can go with, um, you know, ghosts, like the, the usual stuff. Uh, or we can have, like, um, oh, spells and magics. Ooh, that's creepy. Because you don't really know what spells, you know, it's capable of doing. Or, well, let's go a little bit more sci-fi, right? So we're gonna have the aliens update. I don't actually keep up with the up with the Team Fortress 2 updates because I wanna have myself surprised as soon as it comes out. But you know, um, yeah, I don't know if the alien invasion update actually exists. I don't know if it is a real thing. But I've been seeing a lot of alien invasion related videos popping out everywhere, even pictures. God damn it. So, it's a legit thing? I'm gonna assume it is. The only thing now, the only question I need to answer, answer now is, is this video I'm gonna watch, is it like the real thing? Is it the real video from, you know, the real official video from Ball? That would be awesome, but at the same time, is this fan made? I don't know. I guess I'm gonna have to either judge it, but because it's a teaser, maybe the quality will not be you know, um, Valve like status, so I could, maybe that would give me like a false impression. Hey, I'm confused as fuck right now. Just go watch my, um, other video that I made. Um, for, um, this is for brownies only guys, so you can just, you know, just ignore this part for like maybe 10 seconds. Uh, my Mad Max reaction to, Mad Pony reaction, a uh, pony fight version of Mad Max. I had a long rant, and just go watch that to figure it out. Okay, 10 seconds done. I hope I did it right, but anyways, um, hopefully you guys are listening to me again. Okay then, so with that said, let us react to a possible official teaser from Valve, or maybe a fan-made animation, I don't know. Okay then, here we go, and until we like. Okay then! So, where does this take place? Like, this is a, is this like a new map in Team Fortress 2? And who owns this place? Is it, is it like a random civilian? Is it one of the... There's currently a, a Steam collection of all the items are coming. Okay, okay. What? Our exploration may very well turn. <gasps> Woo! Danger, Captain? So I think they're watching a movie. Nothing. This lifeless planet is completely devoid of life. No life forms. Okay, um, so far, um... Um, just, just to let you guys know, I have a rule right now where I'm only a, I have like a limit of pausing. So that I do not frustrate you. I have up to two passing. I've already used up my other one. So if I pass one more time, you don't have to worry about me passing again. But right now, I have to say something. Usually, um, fan-made um animations for Team Fortress Two usually um starts with them being like in a chill place and stuff, you know. So that kind of maybe worries me a little bit. So maybe might this might be a fan animation because. Um, almost every fan animation from Team Fortress 2 always starts with them being chill, everything is alright, and all of a sudden something's gonna pop, something wrong is gonna happen, and then they're gonna have to, you know, um, overcome that, um, in the video. So, right now, this is kind of the vibe that I'm getting. Speaking of which, um, is this update, um, fan, um, inspired? Like, I mean to say, is this community, um, fa update, is this a community update, or is this official Team Fortress 2? I don't know, but anyways, that's my one pass. Let me just hopefully not use my other pass again. But you know, who knows? Whatsoever, except for the creatures that live here. Also, can we have this 3D model skin Our for Team Fortress 2? Would be awesome. Are among the most in the How do you know that? Devilman doesn't work on Devilman. Sorry. So far, they still have the Team Fortress personality, so that's good. Yeah, them, um, Engineer does need no 3D. He already seen this movie a lot. There's something wrong with the... There's something... Is the door, like, opening and closing? Something's going on. Engineer, rule number... What the f... Is, is that a robot? 
No wait, that was just normal pyro. It looks like a broken robot for some reason. Um, pyro. Green means danger. Ah shit. Ah shit. Ah shit. Pyro just doesn't give a fuck. He's okay with this. Okay, so far. Something is happening. Everything is floating. Everything not organic, I guess, is floating. Your clothes are un un are unorganic. Surely you'll be flying right now. That is a good question, huh? I credit myself. Not the popcorn. All that buttery goodness. I, I cannot judge the smoothness of the animation because it is a teaser, so I'm not sure if that will affect... Oh. No, don't end it here, you motherfuckers. CONTINUE! I need to see... I need to see what we're up against. I know it's aliens, but I really want to see what we're up against, like, visually. Oh no! It's a flying saucer! Yeah, I see this flying saucer everywhere in the in the community so I wonder what's in it that's what I want wait a minute okay invasion okay this is I'm getting you know that cold feeling behind your head it's yeah Okay, so special things. Oh god, the, the videos might be. Okay, there you go. Anyways, um, so far, yeah, there's nothing much. What am I saying? A lot of things happen. Not really like you know fast paced a uh, machine gun um information type, because I kind of already seen that three D model of the flying saucer and stuff. Let me just decrease the volume a little bit. And actually, a lot. I mean. I need to see exactly like um I want to see like is this a possible map because the way how they zoomed out it looks like there's like tr um you know crop rings on the ground when it zoomed out so give me a sec uh, let's just wait for this baby to you know um does his job um how are we gonna fight against the aliens like okay so so let's see uh okay so I don't think this is gonna be a map I think this map is just designed for the cinematic. Because you know, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, uh, wait. Those are tree circles. Vol that's impossible. Vault cannot do tree. So, sorry, I had to make that joke. But, anyways, um, so, okay, um, you know, they have the invasion assets, I guess, of art assets. Um, so, yeah, this time wasn't the map. We'll just have like you know um new models I think um so obviously these models are already you know um used in the game itself but I mean the only thing that is uh the obvious um you know um art as uh, art asset um is for the invasion update is obviously the alien stuff but also the astronauts I would like to have an astronaut skin you know to wear or maybe a uh, maybe just the helmet or maybe. Maybe the bodysuit, who knows. I like how the spy just pops out here as, you know, butter, fly knife. Um, you know, I'm thinking that that's gonna save them. Speaking of which, um... Where does this take place in the Team Fortress 2 timeline? Obviously, um, from what I know, like, Team Fortress... No, without knowing, um, a lot about it, um... From what I know, Team Fortress currently has, like, two separate timelines. It's kind of similar to like um, how My Little Pony does it. Um, the canon show of MLP and the comics um, canon stuff from IDW. Um, canon show does is, you know, that's number one canon. Everything that happens here dictates everything. Well, the comics um, is official. Uh, it's, it's official. It's really official. But sometimes, um, canon, if canon does something that contradicts, um, the, this, um, you know, the comics, comics will automatically say, well, that's an, uh, that's an alternate universe stuff. Or, a uh, nudge, or uh, easter egg, or a nudge, 
not super canon basically get it um so um it is still canon it's, it's still official but anything happens in this side will automatically uh, if anything happens in this side it will not affect the show but if anything happens to the show it will affect the comics so from what I um, apply that to the Team Fortress 2 mentality, um, Team Fortress 2 has, you know, the currently, um, you know, um, the war with the machines. And if you haven't read the uh, comics, current, um, I might spoil you on something. Um, so spoiler alert in case you guys do not want to get spoiled. In fact, just end this video now if you want to. But anyways, um, if you've already read the comics, um, you know, the most updated one, aka. September 15, 2015? Huh, that's interesting. I didn't notice they were 15 15 together. But, anyways, um, recently, Gray Man uh, is dead. Yeah, he is dead. So, what does this mean for the Machine Menace? Is it over? Uh, the comic wasn't finished yet, so we don't know if that is like the ultimatum, like the final, um, you know, end for Gray Man and the machines. Um, obviously, there could be like a story where the machines are either automatic now and they cannot be stopped, and they'll stick, you know, they'll keep producing all these machines and shit. And no one's really controlling the machines anymore, they're just going automatic and they, they'll just be there. Or someone's gonna take over, and they'll be u using the machines for other purposes. Um, on the other hand, uh, we also have this timeline where... Are the red and blue still fighting? Like, I mean, in the can in the story-verse. Like, are they still fighting, or is that a separate timeline? But in the timeline that we're gonna be talking about the focusing on is the Halloween timeline. Because... You know, anything that happens in the canon timeline will automatically, um, I mean, anything that happens in the canon timeline, the Halloween timeline will automatically adapt to the canon timeline. So any events that happens in the canon timeline that never happened in Halloween, Halloween will automatically ad um, update itself to, you know, um, um, fit itself for the canon timeline. So, while Kana Timeline may not have, you know, Marasmus and any spooky shit, um, in the Halloween Timeline, um, e uh, everything just, you know, just keeps, it just piles in, you know? It does its job. And if there's, like, um, some bits going on in the Kana Timeline, automatically, um, Halloween will fix itself for that purpose. Or, I could be shitting myself and saying, oh, wait, I was wrong. All of it is canon. All of it is canon. Halloween Timeline? Oh, what do you mean Halloween Timeline? It's actually part of the canon stuff. So anything that happens, so yeah, everything's canon. But it kind of contradicts, but it sometimes contradicts, uh, you know, canon sometimes. Unless you say that takes place in the past. Actually, see, that's what I'm talking about. Like, um, in the canon timeline, um, Grey Man took over. And in the Halloween Timeline, um, we continue with the two brothers being dead. So, see, that fits. But on the other hand, uh, aren't they not, you know, like, is red and blue busy, like, huh, I'm starting to question myself, it feels like Halloween timeline might actually be, um, part of the canon timeline then, so maybe there is no timelines, I mean, there may not be any separate timelines, maybe it's just one timeline now, the more I think about it. But I don't wanna, you know, step too much into my boundaries because I'm thinking in the canon timeline they're dealing with the machines. That's it. While in the Halloween timeline they have the time to, you know, um, be, you know, get paid to, you know, take out, um, you know, um, it, um, the other brothers to send them to hell and all that shit. Um, but other than that, uh, I could be wrong. Uh, I could be right. I don't know. So, anyways, um. I'm confused as fuck. This is a this is just a teaser. So until the full trailer comes out, um, I'm just gonna stay confused and you know, um, spoiler free until the update comes out. Maybe with maybe as well as the trailer, but yeah. Anyways, guys, um, hope um, yeah, uh, 
I still want to confirm whether this is community update or is it an official Valve thing, I don't know. But anyways, um, yeah guys, um, that's my reaction to the teaser for the Alien Invasion! Wonder what they're gonna look like! Are they gonna use the Xenomorph, um, headgears? Or is it a completely original take in the Alien genre? I don't know. But yeah guys, um, anyways, um, sorry for that long rant again. I just, you know, I just want to speak up my mind, basically. But anyways, um, thanks for watching. And until then.